everyone uh, welcome back so today I'm going to be going and getting my groceries as well as showing you guys our meal plan for the next couple of weeks um, we have a bunch of different orders coming right so I'm gonna pick up one this morning we gotta pick up two tomorrow and then we also have stuff coming from Sam's.com so I'm gonna show you everything I get once I get back from Walmart here in a minute and then I'll show you the rest of this stuff uh, as well but I'm gonna also show you guys the plan for food over the next couple of weeks okay guys so i'm back home now i'm going to show you guys all of the groceries in my kitchen um and then i'll show you the stuff we get tomorrow as well i think i'll put the meal plan somewhere in the middle of here so you guys can see what i'm going to be making um but let's go ahead and get into the stuff that's in the kitchen so here is the current state <laughs> of all the stuff i'm going to go through everything the same direction i normally do kind of going from this side on over and around because that stuff over there is all like um house stuff i guess you could say so i got two things of chicken broth um for the sauces and the soups and things that i make um and that one works really good even though it's a great value brand it's still really good we have olive oil this is lemon pepper and this is ground ginger and then here we have powdered sugar because i'm going to be doing some baking as well blueberry muffin mix uh, chocolate chips and white chocolate chips and then over here is the pancake mix i'm going to make a big breakfast tomorrow some pasta bow tie pasta it's going with something i'm going to be making um so i'll tell you guys about that in a minute uh bananas got more grape kool-aid because i only want to see my son likes <laughs> uh, another Velveeta block and two i think it's called maggie uh chicken cubes it's two of those <laughs> Back here, we have graham crackers. That's for something for breakfast. Some uh, two cans of the strawberry pie filling. That's for something for breakfast as well. Tomato paste for my sauce. Uh, thin green beans because I ate one. or We cooked one the other day. And then there are uh, three of these organic oatmeal baby cereal things. Uh, two of the paneer mac and cheese. I, got, I told you I like those a lot. But I can't seem to eat the whole four in a month. So... Just got two because they're really rich, so it takes me a while to get through them. Um, two bags of potatoes. Now, I don't even know what happened here because these are supposed to be one big bag of jumbo potatoes. And somehow I got two little bags. I don't, I don't know what they did there. Um, these are supposed to be Hawaiian sweet rolls. They gave me the Sam's Choice sweet rolls. It's okay. They taste good as well. Um, some Sierra Lee Hawaiian uh, sweet hamburger buns. We had some burgers the other day. They were really good with these buns. So, got more of those. Here is our bread for our sandwiches, you guys. They had to substitute one. So, we usually get the whole wheat pepperage farm one. This one is oral wheat. I don't know what that. I've never seen, never had this one. But we'll see how it, how it tastes compared. Right here we have eggs, butter, and cream cheese. Also stuff for breakfast. Um, here is some string cheese. I'm going to be doing mozzarella sticks with these. Um, some mesquite turkey. Those are for our sandwiches. I got five of the Chobani flips, but strawberry cheesecake, you guys, they only let you get so many of them in the grocery pickup. I think it was six, but something's went on with the order last night. It kept kicking them out. I don't know. Got what I could. Um, the organic Estoni Field kids yogurt for my son. Then we got whipping cream and half and half. I need both of those for a recipe I'm going to be making. And then uh, some whole milk. Before I get to the rest of the counter, let me get to the stuff on the floor here. I got paper towels. Um, the bigger one, they were out of it, so I just got, instead of getting the eight count, I got six and two. <laughs> I got three more cases of water. As you guys know, we go through water quite quickly. And three little ones for our little man. And then two of his baby waters. Back up here on the counter. The reason this bag is still here, you guys, is because for some reason... They picked my yellow nectarines, but they did not put them in like a produce bag. So they just put them floating around here. I don't know. I got two little bushels of tomatoes and some grape tomatoes. That's also for a recipe I'm going to be making. Oh, there it is. A recipe I'm going to be making here um, in the next couple of days. Some more chicken noodles. My son likes those. Um, and we go through them kind of quick because my husband and I eat them as well. Uh, mushrooms we got some baby spinach and strawberries okay so I've learned that if you go early enough in the morning you get pretty decent produce um, so I've been doing my pickups really early and I've been getting decent strawberries you guys which is amazing because I haven't had decent strawberries in like five months um, here are our um, romaine lettuce two of them because we just chop our lettuce up instead of getting the slimy stuff I, I just don't want the slimy stuff guys Back here, I got two bags of the uh, tortilla chips, one bag of the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Those are going to go with those mozzarella sticks. Um, some cornmeal. 
yellow cornmeal and some flour. And then here in the front we have ketchup, syrup, grated Parmesan, strawberry fruit syrup, and some of the Nor, um, it's like a bouillon, but it's beef. Right here are our um, freezer bread things. I, guess, I don't know the particular word for it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, we got a brick oven pepperoni pizza and a brick oven uh, from DiGiorno Supreme Pizza. And then here are uh, the thick and fluffy waffles. Um, and then garlic knots. They're going to go with like lasagna or something this week. Then I got three salads. Because um, I'm going to eat some during the day. This is just a Caesar salad. This is a Caesar salad with bacon, you guys. Now, this one got punctured because the guys that are putting it in our car was just, in my car, were just throwing the stuff in there. So, it ended up underneath a lot of stuff, and there's a hole in the package. And then they also dropped one of the waters, and it exploded because they were just chunking stuff in the car. They were really young. They were just chucking stuff in the car. The only thing they didn't chuck back there was my eggs, and I'm glad they didn't because it would have busted my eggs up. Moving on, this is a roast. I'm going to be making this probably for Sunday dinner. Then we have stew meat. I need that for a recipe. They didn't have it last time, so I'm glad they had it this time finally so I can use it. Here are sausages for our breakfast tomorrow. Both packets of these are thin cut chicken breast. So one of them is for a recipe. The other one, I just kind of wanted to make like something with it. I don't know what yet, but I, I like the boneless thin ch uh, chicken breast because they're really the thin ones, especially because they're easier to cook. And then these are just some beef burger patties. I'm going to move over here to the stuff that just kind of is for the house. It kind of floats around all loosey-goosey. Um, I got two trash cans, the little ones. Um, we need one in our second bathroom. And then I told you I wanted to get one for my husband and his office. Then we have these exfoliating pads for my face. And here is the witch hazel that matches it. <laughs> then some more of the leave-in spray conditioner with the jojoba oil that we like. And I found some baby dove, which is great because they usually don't have it. And my son uses this soap in particular, and he keeps running out. So I finally found some in the store, so I got some. Three little bags of the trash bags. You guys know we use those to pick up poops as well as for dirty diapers. Some more of my Sure Vanilla Embrace plugins because we've been using them. Nexium for me because I deal with GERD and acid reflux, or I deal with acid reflux. Yeah, GERD and acid reflux. Um, and these help sometime and I was running low, some wire, um, like wire cutters because I'm going to string my guitar this week or in the next couple days, bottle brush, two more, uh, notepads for me so I can get some work done, some cascade platinums, um, uh, for our dishwasher. And I noticed we were missing a lot of things, uh, utensil wise. So I got us, uh, some tongs. I got us a ladle because we be having, we have, we be having, oh my goodness. We have soup sometimes and it's so difficult to get the stew and things out with what we have. So I got a ladle, some serving tongs for when we have salads and a metal spatula for, I'm making pancakes tomorrow, guys. I'm using a griddle. I'd rather have one of these than the other. And then I got a muffin tin to make our muffins. All right, guys, so we're back from Sam's. I'm going to show you guys what we got in the rest of this grocery order. But first, I want to show you this. <laughs> My husband got our dog another bed, and he's uh, kind of excited about it. So I'm going to show you guys the bed. You like the bed? Yeah. Not you. I'm talking about the pup-up. Yeah, yeah. It's a little big, but he seems to like it. Alrighty guys, we're going to start down here on the floor. So my husband actually found this today at Sam's. He went in to um, to see about, I believe it was the dog's bed that he just got. And they had these on display. So he went ahead and got a thing of paper towels. Because the bonnie little ones have been rough. But these kind of run out fast too, but it, it's okay. I got some more water. Three of each. Go through a lot of water at our house. Just saying. Uh, up here, we got two boxes of oatmeal. The Quaker maple brown sugar for our little one. Uh, we eat it as well, but he eats it most every day. Not most every day, every day. We got green bell peppers and an assortment of bell peppers. Oh, they shorted us a yellow. They ain't right. It's cool. It's cool. They're good. And they look good too, you guys. Um, I've come to find that going early in the morning, you get better produce. Two containers of tomatoes. 
my husband found some emergency kind of go through all the sam stuff first and then do the other stuff well i'll just tell you where it came from so all of this stuff so far that i've shown you came from sam's except for the water came from walmart this vegetable oil the lid's a little dented but it's okay also came from walmart okay these rugs uh i was trying to find little rugs for our bathroom and i ordered something different but they had to do a substitution these were actually more expensive like one of these was the cost of all the other rugs that i got so i was okay with that left alone we got mangoes we got two of these and two of these these are like the yellow ones they're a little bit smaller and then these are the bigger more common ones bag of red onions that came from sam's a couple of these my son's been kind of into these again lately these apple chicken and rice he likes them we like it he like it we love it another thing of bananas because as you can see over there they are already gone from yesterday uh, an extension cord we need another one because i have stuff to plug in and we only have one two and they're both being used little box gushers there actually is a big one in the closet you guys that i came early from sam's but uh this is just a little one i thought i was gonna have to eat i was gonna eat these before the other ones came but they came soon so it's okay got some more tiny trash bags for boops little miralax big thing of the beef jerky we were eating this a lot and then we stopped um but i've been wanting it again so got some more a, another container of our apple juice we've already gone through one and i think uh, a little over half of another one so we ordered another one online because you cannot get them in store here they only have them online so we ordered some more of those two big things of batteries uh, my husband uses them at work i use them we ran out of them our batteries are gone so i got a, two big things of batteries from sam's and then our laundry detergent and fabric softener we usually use the four in one um, or the one that we have is the four in one but i went ahead and got this one anyway because we're almost out of that one and um since we already use all i think it'd be okay for us to use it even though we have sensitive skin this should be fine just because of the fact that um i'll look dermatologist recommended um just because we've already used this one before or this brand before and then this is the exact same fabric softener that we got uh, before and both of these also came from sam's Okay, uh, so I'm back. Uh, I'm a little sweaty because I've been moving things around the house. So I'll show you guys that in another cleaning video or something like that. I'm just back on to show you guys the things that just came from Walmart.com as well as from Sam's.com. And then I will show you guys my meal plan as well. You know my kitchen, you guys, because I made breakfast a little after I um, showed you guys the other stuff this morning. Um, I'm going to clean it up in a little bit because i got to cook dinner. So uh, let's get into the stuff that just got delivered. So these two came from sams.com. I found toilet paper. Finally, I hadn't been able to find it. We had got a thing of this um, in, back in March, and I think we ran out right when we got here in about May, uh, in the middle of May uh, going into June. So I finally found another one. It's actually really good toilet paper, you guys. It's really durable. It's actually really soft, all that good stuff. So this came from sams.com as well as this Gatorade or this Powerade. Let me stop the up the wrong name this power aid came from sam's as well or sam's.com um our sam's club has been kind of out of stuff here uh recently power aids this morning when we went they didn't have grapes or chips which is really weird so um i've been finding the things i need online which is great i'm probably going to find some chips online somewhere or get them from walmart i didn't know that so now i have to make another order but power aid came from sam's and then these three items here so I recently purchased this brand, um, cast iron skillets, but I got a 10 inch and an eight inch. Um, and the eight inch came broken. Go over there, Kai. The eight inch came with the handle off. I don't know. I, don't, I guess people that are shipping it aren't paying attention. They just think it's heavy. So they start throwing it. Well, the handle came off of my eight inch one. So, um, I did want a 12 inch one. So this is the 12 inch. Um, it's Ozark trail. And then I got a blue pot. It reminded me of the ones we used to have um, for holidays when we were kids. Um, I don't know. It's got glue or something on it. See it hanging there? And they were rough with this box as well. It was a little bit heavier, but not that heavy. Um, and I say they were rough with this box because there's damage to my pot. And um, it's okay. I'm trying to be a stickler or be over 
angry and stuff when things like this happens because I know what's going on in the world. And I know it's difficult to return things and get new ones. So this little pot, um, these two together were like maybe 10, 12. They were under $20, both of them. Um, so I got this one and this one um, off of walmart.com. And then I also found some more disinfecting wipes, you guys, which is like an amazing find for me because like a person who always has me, I've always had disinfecting wipes in my house. I can't remember a time where I've never had disinfecting wipes in my house um, up until this pandemic hit, um, especially once my son was born. He was born in the wintertime or it was um, it was hot when we went in. It was September, but when we left the hospital, it was freezing. So uh, I've always had disinfectant wipes in my house. So I've been really just trying to find them most I can, not just for me, but for my family, because they can't find them either. Two days later. So uh, it's a few days later, you guys. I apologize. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys my meal plan right now. Uh, my meal plan uh, journal thing has not arrived yet. So I did good old fashioned paper and pencil. Made that thing happen. So I'm going to show you guys our meals and then I'll close this video out. So here's what my meal plan looks like, you guys. Um, I put it on paper for right now because my actual meal plan journal has not come in for some reason. I don't know. I'm still waiting on it. So when it comes here, it'll be in something different. Um, but we do not 100% stick to this. So don't think you have to stick to it when if you make one. I'll tell you why after I get through with this clip here. So basically, I wrote on paper and pencil. On the left side is the date. It's for the first 15 days of the month because I grocery shop twice a month. So the times in between is what I plan for. Breakfast pretty much looks the same because we vary. When it comes to breakfast, we kind of switch it up between a few items. Kind of the same thing with lunch. Dinner is the one time that the meal isn't something that we can just kind of throw together really quickly. So this has been really helpful. So if you can do this, go ahead and do this. So the reason why I started meal planning, you guys, was because it was... It was difficult going to the grocery store or ordering things from the grocery store, but not having a plan, right? So you, when I was going grocery shopping before, we walked every single aisle and picked up the things that we were going to need or the things that I might use. And it gave me a better sense of what I was going to make. Well, I can't walk aisle for aisle right now because I don't go into the store. I just do the grocery store pickup. So I make a meal plan to kind of give me an outline of everything that I could cook over the next two weeks and then that's what I buy and you guys it has actually cut down on my grocery bill because I guess I was just buying some all willy-nilly and I wasn't using a lot of it and it's just sitting in the closet or in the pantry or something like that so I will go in I will kind of take um stock of what we have um then I'll kind of sit down and make a, a idea of what I wanted to do over the next two weeks now the reason why I said that I don't stick to this 100% it's because of the fact that some days I may not want what I put on that paper. My husband may not want what we put on the paper. My son may not be in the mood what we put on the paper. So he may eat something different. But what I'm going to do when I do that is mark off the meal that I did make. That way I know what I still have in the fridge to make in the future, right, for the next two weeks. So making this meal plan has actually, it makes my kitchen more efficient, <laughs> I guess you can say. Uh, I grew up where we just cooked up the fly. You know, what we got in there? Well, okay, we'll make this, you know. But with this... Um, it made it a lot easier because even back then my mom would be in the grocery store for hours. I mean, she went through every aisle and she usually bought enough groceries to last us for like a month um, because my mom worked a lot and she worked night shifts and things like that. So she wanted to make sure we had food when we were home. Um, so it was important for her to um, buy everything she thought we were going to need. So that's kind of how I started grocery shopping as well. But because of the pandemic and not being able to go to the grocery store, this is what I have to do because this makes more sense to me um, spending wise. Now, if I want to buy stuff for a month or so, then I will make this list for a full month. Um, and that just kind of helps you map out how much of something to buy um, to see how long things last on the shelf, you know, uh, or their shelf life. So this list has been 100% a plus and has been it takes a few minutes you guys it doesn't take long at all um just to map out what you're gonna make for a couple of weeks okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and go make myself some lunch now because i'm hungry <laughs> thank you all so much for watching another video i really appreciate you all you are the absolute best uh please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all in my next one bye guys